Okay, kids, welcome back to the shop. Today, we're going to grind a fly cutter bit. In uh, a couple of videos ago when I was making the machinist jack, I destroyed my fly cutter bit and I lost that footage. But this is the bit that I ground and I didn't have a radius on it. Can you see that? And for some reason, I put this top rake on it, which we really don't want. Uh, this did work, but then on that video, I destroyed it. So then I took a left-handed uh, turning tool. I thought it would work because here's a... Well, it doesn't have a face rake. I guess that's why it didn't work. So what we're going to do is we're going to make something that looks similar to that. Uh, you see, can you guys see that mark? I'm going to grind this, and we're going to come back in probably like a 9 degrees. I'm just going to kind of wing it here. So we'll we'll grind it back this way. That's the angle I want because this is how it's going to come in the holder, right? I want that angle. We'll grind this back. We'll taper it back that way. We'll taper this back. And then the face will taper back. And then we'll put a big old radius on it. So I don't know how much of that I'm going to be able to film for you because I'm going to be over at the grinder, but I'm going to try my best. I don't know if you, I'm sure you guys can't see this, but I have a mark right here. I'm going to try to grind that at an angle. Let's see. Sure nothing's in the way. This is the cutting edge, so I'm going to do that. So now, oh no, I got to come back more. No, I don't. So let's do the bottom now. Okay, can you guys see that? So this is actually going to be the cutting edge. See, that's my relief. Uh, this is the relief here, and this is the face. So now let's put a big radius on that thing. Maybe I'll try to get more of a face angle here. Let's try. <laughs> All right, well, that worked out pretty good. I took it over to the sander after I ground it, and then I also I sharpened it on the stone here. You know, all sides, rounded it off. I mean, look at this thing, it looks good. It's all rounded, but do you guys see a problem here? Look, this is at the wrong angle. When I'm grinding these things, these fly cutters, I get confused because you know, the cutting edge is here, so I'm grinding it. I have to grind things upside down, and I got all out of whack. So I have to grind. You see the... I have a little mark here. So I actually have to grind that face to a relief. So that's okay. It's not a big deal. But here is the, the big deal, if you want to call it, is, look, it doesn't fit into my holder. So that is a problem. So what I did off camera is I took some smaller piece of high-speed steel and I ground it okay and this actually turned out pretty good but again I got lost in the sauce and I started grinding the top which you don't have to do that so what I suggest is as you're grinding you know, make a mark of some sort so you know you know what edge you're grinding so you don't get you know lost like I did on this one but that's fine so this looks pretty good I have a nice radius on it um, I, of course, went over to the sander and knocked some edges off, and then I just 
He went on a stone. Nothing, nothing ridiculous. Just try to get the burrs off and put a little bit of an edge on it. And that's all we're doing. So this is looking good. And um, let's head to the mill and see how it worked out. Great, I forgot to turn you guys on. I can't believe it. That thing worked perfect. And I forgot to turn you on. We'll do it again. We'll do the other side. Wow, that looks good. Holy smallies. Look at that finish. I like that. I hand fed that. Let's spin this over and let's do the other side. I'm turning on this thing. I'm very happy with that. Very happy. Look at these curly cues it threw. Look at these things. Nice and blue, so that means I was taking a pretty good cut. Really, I wasn't, but that's a small cutter. They're curled up good. Let's head over to the bench and check out this finish. I'm going to tell you what, that went really well. I don't know if you guys see this finish. I think this was the first one. I'm pretty sure I did I hand fed this one so this one isn't as smooth this one I used a power feed I don't know what's going on here can you see that I'm thinking that's where it went off or you know it was ending it was cutting this direction I know that if you look at the video the cutter wasn't centered I don't know if that made a difference but I sure am happy with that finish the cutter uh, it's a little little dark probably needs sharpened again and I don't know if you guys can see this, but it was throwing these nice little curly cues, and they are dark, you know, so they're they're blue. You see that blue in there? So it was doing, look at that, there's a bunch of those. It was doing what it's it should have done. I'm going to, I will sharpen this again, but man, that was... I think that was a, a success. So hopefully you guys got something out of that. Now don't get uh, caught up too much in the angle. I, you know, you saw I was just grinding it. I'm just kind of guesstimating. You know, if you look at things, it says nine degrees. But um, one thing I read is you have to have a nice big radius, and that's what I did. And man, that that turned out well. I'll sharpen this up with a stone. I'll keep it nice and sharp, like you should with any of your high-speed tools. This one will work if I get a, uh, it won't work. I have the wrong angle. I'll, I'll regrind that and get another holder. So there you go. Oh, and, and by the way, what I'm doing is I'm not done with this, uh, this, uh, I'm not done with the machinist jack. I am going to finish this one that I started before. You guys didn't like this. And I, you know how I know you didn't like it? I didn't get very many views. So I am going to finish this one. That's why I did this. Hopefully you got something out of it. Hopefully now you know how to grind a fly cutter. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.